Gilio for NJ Sports now on this Tuesday, November the 4th, as the New York Giants last night lost again at home here to the Indianapolis Colts, now 3-5, and five, and now staring at a season that will most likely once again not lead to a playoff berth. And it is the thing to do here on this Reaction Tuesday to say who is to blame for the Giants' issues? Who is to blame for what is wrong with the New York Giants? And I think there's many people and many areas of this team to blame. But the one that seemingly week after week is not consistent and the one area of this team that you expect more out of on a weekly basis and don't get it would be the defense. Regardless of who general manager Jerry Reese drafts or who he signs or who he brings in, the one constant on the Giants' defense for the last five years now has been defensive coordinator Perry Fuel. And you look up at the numbers at what Fuel's defense has done. And yes, it's part of the story that in 2011, Fuel's defense got on a good run towards the end of the season and got themselves and got the Giants to a Super Bowl championship along with Eli Manning and the offense. But regular season-wise, in Fuel's tenure here, this is year number five of the Perry Fuel era, if you'll call it with the Giants. The team has never finished in the top ten of defense, has finished in the top half of the league in defense just one time. And you look at points allowed on a yearly basis, which I mean, you can talk about yards, you can talk about third down percentage. The only thing that matters really when you break this thing down and you talk about how a defense stacks up is how many points they allow. And right now for the Giants, they are 21st in the NFL in points allowed through the, the, this juncture of the season. And they are on pace halfway through their schedule to allow 418 points. That would be the fourth most ever in the history of the Giants franchise, one that has a proud tradition of defense. Last night against the Colts, it was a comedy of errors out there. And yet the Giants have had injuries. And when Prince of Mookamora went out and Dominic Rogers cromartie in and out of the lineup, you can make some excuses for what Fuel has to deal with here. But the bottom line is the Colts just seem to be a step ahead of the Giants, just like the Cowboys were a step ahead of the Giants, just like a few weeks ago the Eagles were two steps ahead of the Giants. It seems like a week-in, week-out basis other teams, their offensive coaches, know exactly exactly what Perry Fuel is going to do. He doesn't adjust, and he doesn't change what he does on a weekly basis. Eight plays of 20 or more yards last night for the Colts. It is impossible, impossible for the Giants to stop anyone and to keep anyone under 30 or 40 points with that formula. When the Giants assess their issues at the end of this season, I'm sure there will be a spotlight on Tom Coughlin because of his age and because the team has seemingly stagnated in recent years. I'm sure there will be a big spotlight on general manager Jerry Reese and the talent he's brought in. But the biggest spotlight right now and the biggest culprit for what's wrong with the Giants' defense isn't personnel and it isn't Tom Coughlin. It's the guy that has been the constant for five years. It is Perry Fuel, who at best is an average defensive coordinator that was propped up by a gifted group of pass rushers in 2011. At worst, he's a guy to be replaced. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports. Now.